few days ago, I asked you guys to guess which 3D printed hole this magnet would fit into. This might seem like a straightforward question, except a quirk of 3D printing is that the computer model never perfectly matches the 3D print. But why? Well, I looked at the G-code, the instructions for your 3D printer, and here I saw that to print this interior square with 50 millimeter sides, the extruder head will actually move in a path outlining a square with sides of 50.9 millimeters. This is to compensate for a few factors, but the main one is that the filament has width. However, there are also some factors that this offset alone does not entirely correct for. Different filament materials shrink as they cool, pulling inwards. And these unaccounted for factors get even more noticeable at smaller scales, making small holes like these harder to print accurately. However, I would be lying if I said there weren't slicer features to fine tune your printer for these special cases. But honestly, I and a lot of other CAD designers find it easier to use small jigs like these to find the right tolerance especially if you're jumping around multiple printers. But let me know in the comments if you prefer fine tuning or the trial and error method.